Brothers and sisters, to increase your iman. Read the miracle, recite the Quran. Recite it every day and do read it loud. The verses of Quran are all Muslim's pride. This miracle was revealed over a long time span. Sent from Allah to an angel, then to a man. That man was Muhammad, the best of creation. He gave us a message, and that was Islam. So read this miracle, recite the Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back with another live edition of Correct Your Recitation where we learn how to recite certain verses in the same order that we are following since we started the program and then listen to them beautifully and explain their meaning and ponder over the beautiful meaning of those ayat. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala nabihi wa mustafa Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Allow me, brothers and sisters, to uh, welcome our studio guests as well in the beginning of this episode. Sheikh Abdul Khaliq, as usual, thank you for joining us. Umar Hassan and Sheikh Abdul Rahman, may Allah bless you all and send to you all my dear viewers, may Allah bless you all. Today, inshallah, we'll continue with the magnificent surah, surah Yasin. But from ayah number 37 through ayah number 47, that is 10 verses, insha'Allah. Sheikh Abdul Khaliq will begin from ayah number 37. Please. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Wa ayatul lahumu al-laylu naslahu minhu فَإِذَا هُمْ مُظْلِمُونَ مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ وَالشَّمْسُ تَجْرِي لِمُسْتَقَرٍّ لَهَا ذَلِكَ تَقْدِيرُ الْعَزِيزِ الْعَلِيمِ والقمر قدرناه منازل والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى ذاك العجون القديم للشمس يا بَغِي لَهَا أَن تُدْرِكَ الْقَمَرُ لَلشَّمْسُ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا أَن تُدْرِكَ الْقَمَرَ وَلَا اللَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارِ وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم وآية لهم أنا حملنا وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن نشأ نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا Oh, my. 
وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال Barak Allah fi Jazak Allah khayran. Done very, very well. Beautiful recitation, Sheikh Abdul Khaliq and Abdul Rahman. May Allah bless you both. Beautiful, masha'Allah, laqata illa billah. So we said last episode, we started off with the ayat in which Allah the Almighty is calling upon His servants to ponder over the open universal book to look at how the Almighty Allah revives the dead land and the barren land when He sends down the rain so it produces its plants, fruits and vegetations, then life will continue. And this cycle will keep going on and on by His leave. And then another ayah, ayah, if you remember, I often say, I don't like to call an ayah a verse because ayah has a deeper and a greater meaning than just being limited to a phrase or a verse. Ayah means a sign, ayah means a proof and each ayah of the ayat of the Quran is a sign by itself, is a miracle by itself. So here Allah is talking about the ayat, the signs in the universe which should indicate His oneness, His glory and He's the only one who's worthy of worship. وَآيَةٌ لَهُمُ اللَّيْلِ And another ayah for them, another sign for them is the night. What about the night? نَسْلَخُ مِنْهُ النَّهَارِ The word نَسْلَخْ is to withdraw peacefully without really feeling it. Look at this. Here is the moon descending and soon the sun will be ascending. Look, 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 look. And this is fast forwarding the image. I mean, this whole thing happened on the screen right now in a minute or so, but it takes, it takes some time so that the observers would not even feel it. I mean, you would not be walking all of a sudden while it's a daylight, then oops, complete blackout. That doesn't happen, does it? No, it doesn't. So likewise, you don't walk or you sit outside or in your balcony or the rooftop or you are in a field trip and the moon is up there then all of a sudden you see the sun rising. That doesn't happen. The process happens smoothly and it happens slowly, gradual withdrawal technique and it happens all the time. And guess what? Very few people actually observe it, which means that nobody notices this matter. You gotta be sitting on the beach or in the field, you gotta be a, a, a poet or an artist, somebody who draws or some, a photographer to notice that. But common folk, ordinary people, they know it's a morning, evening, very few times people realize that. And this itself is an ayah. It's not like turning the switch on, then the light is all over the room, off and black out, no. The gradual withdrawal technique and a sign for them is the night we withdraw them from the day and behold, they are in darkness. فَإِذَا هُمْ مُظْلِمُونَ And that actually means that the original condition is the darkness and the light is temporary. 
So when the sun rises, there is light. And when the sun reflects its light on the moon, there is light. But without the sun, the original condition is what? Complete darkness, mostly moon. 38. This day and night cycle happens as a result of the alternation of the sun and the moon and the rotation of the earth around itself and also around the sun. So, in the past, and according to the philosophers, and for centuries, and for millenniums, they used to think that the, the earth is the center of the universe. Only on the year 1444, whenever a Dutch astrologist proved that the earth is not the sun of the universe, it is not the center of the universe, and the earth revolves, rotates around itself, and it rotates around the sun. And the sun also rotates around its own axis. So the Quran 1440 years ago says, الشَّمْسُ تَجْرِي لِمُسْتَقَرِّ لَهَا And now, we're going to ask the Shuyukh, Shaykh Abdul Khaliq, Abdul Rahman, Hassan. You know, there is a Qira'ah. And before that, uh, we want to talk about الشَّمْسِ والشمس تجري لمستقر لها. There is a قراءة that says لا مستقر لها. Yes. What is the meaning of لا مستقر لها? And what is versus لمستقر لها? والشمس تجري and the sun also runs, rotates on its. Yes. On its fixed course. Around its own axis. Yes. But for how long does it keep running and rotating? For how long? Well, it says, لا مستقر لها يعني non stop. Okay. Non stop. It does not interrupt, not in a single day. Did we get up one day and the sun says, I'm upset with you guys, I'm not shining today? No. No, it shines. Yes, sometimes some of the galaxies come in between and we see a solar eclipse or when the moon comes in between, partial or complete, right? Or like the ring fire. But in reality, the sun keeps rising because it keeps shining, shining. it keeps rotating. The earth likewise, non-stop. And the astrologers calculated the following, that the earth revolves around itself. One complete circle rotates around itself, around its own axis, every 23 hours and 56 minutes. Oh, I thought it's supposed to be 24 hours, so it will make a complete day and night. And that's why when the earth rotates, so one part of the earth will not be facing the sun, rather it will be facing the moon. So it's a night time in the States, and it's a day time in the Middle East. It happens. Even happened in uh, Australia. Yes. Like um, uh, August for them is uh, is the winter, and January for them is summer. Exactly because yeah. the Earth facing a different side, facing either the sun or the opposite of the sun. So that creates the day and the night, and so on. Also, the creation of the seasons: summer, winter, autumn, uh, autumn and uh, fall, and the weather. And the length of the day, the day time is longer normally. And the daytime is shorter. Summer. In when the daytime is longer in summer, summer and, the shorter. and shorter in winter. So as a result of the earth rotating around its own axis, we have a day and night. So when you say, so what happens to the remaining four minutes? That's why every four years we have a year which is known as a heavy year, a long year. Yeah. We add one more day. And also, in Arabic, they call it Kabisa year. And then when the earth rotates around the sun itself, it takes the earth, it takes the earth um, 365 days and a quarter of a day to make one complete rotation. I'm not going to talk about the speed now because you're going to go crazy. Okay, so the earth is moving with this high velocity and maximum speed 
and nothing is spilling. Where is the water? I don't see anything moving or shaking. As a result of the moving of the earth, we're traveling with the maximum velocity, revolving around the earth itself and rotating around the sun simultaneously. And the sun also rotates around itself. And there is another miracle when, when it comes to the sun rotating around its own axis. Its own particles, they rotate and they travel with various speeds. What do you mean? Various speeds, unlike the earth, because the earth is a solid object. But in the case of the sun, it consists of gases. So some of those gases are faster than the others. But by the end, the sun itself rotates around its own axis. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was Nabi Ummay, yani an unliterate prophet. He didn't even know reading and writing. How could a man 1400 years ago know about this very fine astrology, okay? Without knowing even reading or writing and nullifying many of the theories which later on 1400 and the year 1444, the Christian era, they found out it was a, a false theory, subhanAllah. So this is a proof and that's why Allah Almighty says, Wa ayatun lahum. Ayah, sign. You want a miracle? You want a tangible miracle? You want a physical miracle? Look. Musa alayhi salam was given the stick, the staff, and his hand, and many other eyes, but those are the two major miracles, correct? So when Musa alayhi salam died, what happened to the staff, to the stick? Can anyone use it? No. But when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam died, and many of the tangible miracles that he brought with him vanished, but the everlasting miracle is the glorious Quran. So every day we will find out more truth from the Quran. The truth has been there always, but it is renewed because we come to learn as we advance in science, in astrology, in chemistry, in physics, in anatomy. We come to in embryology. We come to realize that oh, Subhanallah, this man was true. It was not that this man was true or not. It was this message must be from God. That must be wahy. In huwa illa wahyun yuha. Allamahu shadidu al quwa. I want to bring to the attention of the viewers because some of the new dua, they may yield with, with the oriental state that, you know, they claim that some of the different qiraat are not actually mutawatir. I want to warn anyone, any Muslim. When a non Muslim, when an oriental state that the Quran is not mutawatir, he's a kafir anyway. But whenever a Muslim claims that the Quran or any word of it is not with a continuous testimony and it is not as it was revealed on the same day of its revelation, be careful, you've become a non Muslim. And don't you ever listen to any preacher or any da'iyah or any academic who says that the Qur'an is not mutawatir even in the different dialects, in the different qira'at. This is what the Qur'an criticizes about the kuffar when they say, <coughs> in huwa illa qawlul bashar. They said so. It's the saqar. So Allah said, I'm going to make him taste the blazing fire because he claims that the Qur'an is the word of the human. Not a single word of it belongs to the human beings. It is indeed the word of the Almighty Allah. والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم. So, والشمس تجري لمستقر لها. المستقر means to an appointed term which will be on the day of judgment, it will quit. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that any of us, his or her sins will be forgiven as long as one or two things they didn't take place. The first is الغرغرة which when the soul reaches the throat. And the second, when the sun rises from the west, it's over. When the sun rises from the west, that is mustaqarrillaha. That's it. That is the end of its term. وَجُمِعَ الشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ In Surah Al-Qiyamah, Allah Almighty says that on the day of judgment, يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَ لَا أُقْسِمُوا بِيَوْمُ الْقِيَامَ لَأُقْسِمُوا بِالنَّفْسِ اللَّوَامَ etc. And it says, وَخَسَفَ الْقَمَرُ So the qamar, the moon, does not have any light anymore. وَجُمِعَ الشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ And the sun and the moon will be collected and thrown away. There is no need for them anymore. There will be another life, another creation, another land and plain for mahshar. 
That is the decree of the Almighty, the All-Knowing. What about the moon? The moon which reflects the, the light of the sun against the other side of the earth which is not facing the sun. So at night we have light. But Ya Omar, do we have light? And the moon is always flash lighting throughout the month. We have a solar calendar and a lunar calendar. So in the lunar calendar, today, mashallah, is what? Today is the uh, 13th, 14th, 15th, is the 16th. Because yesterday was the 15th. Yesterday was the 15th. So today is the 16th or the 15th. So what is the moon? At night is so bright. The Arabic poet often made poetry describing their loved uh, women to the moon on a full moon night. Look at this image. When Allah says, وَالْقَمَرَ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلَ حَتَّى عَادَكَ الْعُرُجُونِ الْقَدِيمِ It begins from right to left and it ends from left to right. What do you mean, Sheikh? When we say, we're all waiting for the moon citation to know whether it's Ramadan or the month of Dhul Hijjah for Hajj or, or, or. Once it is born, you see this like little fine eyebrow. Okay? Like a nail when you clip it. Okay? Very fine. That's called Al Urjun Al Qadim. Allah says, And as for the moon, that's another ayah, another sign we have measured for it mansions to traverse. What is mansions? Mansions, yani levels. Manazil. How many manzil? The Quran didn't say, but we know because of the number of the days of the lunar month. 28 mansions, 28 levels. It begins from the bottom. It looks like an eyebrow, then it disappears on the day of its birth. Second and third day, it starts growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's look at the previous image. Until it becomes a full moon on the 14th night. Like last night, we had a full moon. Look, all the way to the end, left hand side, this is a full moon, right? It traveled and it traversed throughout the previous 14 nights from the thin eyebrow all the way to the full moon. Then, and in these uh, manazil or mansions, it keeps ascending, ascending, ascending. And when it reaches that, it starts descending and decreasing again until it becomes on the 28th day, Al-Urjun Allah is addressing the Arab in the Bedouin. At that time, what is Al-Urjun Al-Qadim? Al-Urjun is the stack which bears and carries the dates, the date fruits. So when you collect it and it dries up, it, those are the stacks, brothers and sisters, these stalks which are carrying uh, the dates, the date fruits. They're very powerful because each one of those dates may be several kilo, uh, kilograms. So those stalks are carrying many of them. And then when it dries up, we don't throw them away. You know what we use them for? We make a lot of things. We make handicrafts, we make chairs, seats, canopies, and we make shades, and we make uh, beds, and they are the most powerful tools, even more powerful than wood, when you create chairs out of the stalks of the red palm tree after they dry up, even if you throw them in the sun for years, they never go bad. They never get ruined versus the wood, subhanAllah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, look at the moon as it travels and traverses in its manazil mansions until it becomes 14th full moon, then it descends until it ends up by the end of the month, the 28th mansion, kal-urjun al-qadim, like the thin, dried, old, curved date stock. لَلشَّمْسُ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا أَنْ تُدْرِكَ الْقَمَرُ وَلَا اللَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارُ Have you ever seen both the sun and the moon on midday? It's under the sun or the moon. Either the sun or the moon. So it is not for the sun to overtake the moon, nor does the night outstrip the day. They all float each in an orbit with a perfect measure by the leave of Allah. Another ayah, 
You really want another ayah? Yes, why not? وَآيَةٌ لَهُمْ أَنَّا حَمَنَّا ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ فِي الْفُلْكِ الْمَشْحُونَ An ayah which all human beings acknowledge when Allah the Almighty bore the offspring of Adam, the people who believed along with Nuh alayhi salam. احمل فيها من كل زوجين اثنين وأهلك إلا من سبق عليه القول منهم. Allah said that a few of the believers were put on the ark. Allah bore the believers and with every living creature, Allah ordered Nuh to take pairs, males and females, so that they reproduce and life will resume after a major drowning, the flood. <coughs> that is the Aladdin ship, which Allah refers to it. It's a sign when Nuh was building the ark in the middle of the desert, and the chieftains of his people and the disbelievers used to make fun of him, of him and say, what are you going to do with this? Fly it or sail in the sand? And Nuh was not a carpenter. He did not hit the nails in the wood before, but Allah taught him. And then when the flood came from every direction and only the believers with Nuh were saved, that's an ayah. Then he says, وَخَلَقَنَا لَهُمْ مِنْ مِثْلِهِ مَا يَرْكَبُونَ And after the ship, it was in the first and the last. Later on, Allah has created by inspiring us and instructing us and making it easy for human beings to make similar to Nuh's ark. Ships that takes them from one place to another. Planes, cars, vehicles, any ride that we ride on its back or we ride on top of it. This is all by the leave of Allah. This is an ayah. And that's why which surah we say, لِتَسْتَوُوا عَلَى ظُهُورِهِ Then you recite, سُبْحَانَ الَّذِي سَخَّرَ لَنَا هَذَا وَمَا كُنَّا لَهُ مُقْرِنِينَا وَإِنَّا إِلَىٰ رَبِّنَا مُنْقَلِبُونَ What does it mean? We studied it before. Yani Allah has created for us those rides so that when we ride on the back of any ride, we should say, Subhana alladhi sakhara lana hadha. Glory be to the one who created this for us and made it subservient for us. Wama kunna lahu muqarinin. There is no way that we could have made it subservient to ourselves. Wa inna ila rabbina la munqalibun. And unto our Lord we shall be returned. So you see the little kid, the little kid, driving a huge camel and those camels are very violent by the way or in India you find a baby riding on the back of an elephant and directing it لِتَسْتَوُوا عَلَى ظُهُورِهِ so when you settle on its back you remember the favor of your Lord and you say سُبْحَانَ الَّذِي سَخَّرَ لَنَا هَذَا وَإِنَّ شَأْ نُغْرِقُهُمْ فَلَا صَرِيخَ لَهُمْ وَلَا هُمْ يُنْقَدُونَ if we will we could have drowned them because can you imagine this laden ship now it's made of steel and thousands of tons of loads and it is sailing and it is floating. This is by the leave of Allah. If he willed, he could have made everything drown. The ship and what is on its board. And no one would help them. Titanic. You remember Titanic? huh? And nowadays big ships. They end up in the bottom of the ocean and the sea. Why? Because Allah wanted so. So what happened to the big engines? They failed. Iceberg. When they hit it, it fails and they drown. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is saving us in the sea, airborne or on land. Last ayah. إِلَّا رَحْمَةً مِنَّا وَمَتَاعًا إِلَى حِينَ We're being saved in sea. We're being saved on water, we're being saved while airborne, we're being saved while on land by Allah's mercy. Unless it be a mercy from, from us, the royal we, Allah is talking about himself, and as an enjoyment for a while. This enjoyment would not last forever. This whole life by itself is transient and brief and soon will come to an end. Like this segment, it has already ended already. And we're going to take a short break and we'll open the phone Lines in a couple minutes, insha'Allah, for you to call in and recite those ayat. Please stay tuned. Recite it every day and do read it loud. Recite it every day and do read it loud. Ah. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back. So now you know reading from ayah number 37 through ayah number 47 of Surah Yasin. Uh, let me provide you with our phone numbers. I record 002, then 0238551331. Alternatively, I record 002, then 0100546 9323. The WhatsApp numbers, I record 001 347 806-0025 and finally a record 001-361-489-1503. Um, we we'll begin with our studio guest by the time you start ringing in as I uh, mentioned earlier we're reciting from ayah number 37 through ayah number 47 of Surah Yasin. Umar first time to participate with us please go ahead وآية لهم الليل نسلخ منه النهار أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وآية لهم الليل نسلخ منه النهار فإذا هم مظلمون والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم لا الشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن نشأ نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا هم ينقذون إلا رحمة منا ومتاعا إلى حين وإذا قيل لهم اتقوا ما بين أيديكم وإذا قيل لهم اتقوا ما بين أيديكم وما خلفكم لعلكم ترحمون وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين حسبك يا عمر بارك الله فيك A couple things I wanted to uh, uh, shed some light on Number one when it comes to the letter Dad, even if it is with Zer or Kasra, it's still one of the fat letters and one of the Istila letters. So I cannot thin it to the extent that it sounds like that. So we say, وَمَا تَأْتِيهِمْ مِنْ آيَةٍ مِنْ آيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ إِلَّا كَانُوا عَنْهَا مُعْرِضِينَ Dad. The ra will be very thin. Adad 
is still dhad. If I thin it further, it sounds like what, Hassan? Dal. So if I thin it, it will sound like mu'ridin. That's wrong. Okay? That's not a word. The second we'll discuss after this uh, call, inshallah, with regards to something called al-waqfu wal Where to stop and where to begin from? Not everyone's breath is long enough to recite a whole ayah like uh, ayah number 47. It doesn't have any stop signs in between. That's two lines, more than two lines. How can you recite it or how are you supposed to recite it entirely in one breath? If you have to stop, if you run out of breath, what are you supposed to do after this call, inshallah? Assalamu alaikum. Mu Ahmed from Australia, welcome to the program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mu Ahmed, go ahead. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajim Wa ayatun lahum al-laylu nasakhu minhu al-nahara fa'idha fa'idha hum muhlimun Wa shamsu tajri li mustaqarri laha ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر, والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى 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 عاد حتى عاد كالعرقون القديم الشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر أن تدرك القمر وقمر أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار فكل في فلك يسبح حسبك حسبك أم أحمد from Australia very beautiful إن شاء الله keep in mind a key factor in correcting your citation and reading properly is experiencing comfort while you're reading. Do not rush. Do not haste. So recite what you see. Okay? And do not rush. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaykum. Sister Amina from Nigeria. Assalamu alaykum. Sister Amina from Nigeria. Can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead and recite, please. Can you hear me, Sister Amina? Okay, okay, okay. وَالشَّمْسُ<تصفيق> Sister Amina. That's why we call this lamb uh, what? Lamb Shamsiya. So in order to distinguish between two different types of lamb uh, in the beginning is we say this is lamb Qamariya or Shamsiya. Shamsiya, yani similar to the lamb of the word Shams. In the word Shams, you write the lamb Alif, Lam, Shim, Mim, Sa. Yet, you do not pronounce it. So that's why I say Ash Shams, Ash Shams, Wal Qamaru bi Husban, Wash Shamsi wa Duhaha. It sounds like Alif and Lam. So here, 
there is la yani nahi negation neither the sun nor the moon so we say la shamsu la shamsu so you skip the second lamb you drop it that's why it's called lamb shamsiya it's hidden in the nutq in the pronunciation but it is stated in the writing la shamsu yanbaghi laha an tudrika alqamar so alqamar Every word in the beginning where we recite the, word, the letter lamb is similar to the word qamar whenever it has alif and lamb. That's why it's called alif qamariya. Al qamar. Al qamar. Al shams, we don't pronounce the lamb. Al qamar, we do pronounce. So it becomes lamb qamariya. Alright. So now, brothers and sisters, what I wanted to bring to your attention, I don't think we have some callers for, for the time being. What I wanted to bring to your attention is the concept of where to stop and where to begin from. The Sunnah anyway, whenever you come across an ayah, once you come to the end of the ayah, you stop. So, when we say, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمُ اتَّقُوا مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَمَا خَلْفَكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ Stop. This is ayah number 45. I mean, it's permissible to resume and continue non-stop, but it is best to stop. When Hudayf ibn al-Yaman prayed behind the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said, "Yaqifu ala ra'si kulli ayah." Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin is an ayah. He would recite it and pause. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, an ayah. So he recites it and he pauses, even though short verses. I can say. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'budu Wa Iyaka Nasta'inu Ihdina To the end. But the Sunnah is to stop by the end of every ayah. Within the ayah itself, we have those stop signs which we studied more than a decade ago. More than 10 years. We studied what is the meaning of Sili, Qili, and Jim, and, and Meem, which Stop is a lazim, must. Which stop is recommended? Which stop is permissible? And so on. Here, in the last ayah, I don't see any stop sign. So, if I try to read it all in one breath, let me try. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ أَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَكُمُ اللَّهُ قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنُطْعِمُ مَنْ لَوْ يَشَاءُ اللَّهُ أَطْعَمَهُ إِنْ أَنْتُمْ إِلَّا فِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ Maybe because they didn't eat yet. But sometimes, especially in the prayer, you run out of your breath. What are you going to do? Hassan, how is your breath? Is it long enough? Can you recite it in one breath? Yes, let me see. <coughs> what did he have for lunch? I had lasagna. Lasagna. I doubt you're going to make it in one breath. Let's see. <laughs> وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ أَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَكُمُ اللَّهُ قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنُطْعِمُ مَنْ لَوْ يَشَاءُ اللَّهُ أَطْعَمَهُ لزانية Okay So that happens I mean I'm the same person sometimes I may be able to do it When I was young me and my friends my colleagues at the classroom, we used to compete over reciting in al muslimina wal muslimati wal mu'minina wal mu'minati in one single breath, observing all the ahkam. Yes, I used to hold my breath for two minutes. Alhamdulillah. With the ahkam. Young, but not necessarily you can do the same every time. Like you just had lasagna, so it's hard to do it. Okay? In that case, where to stop? Okay? Sometimes the breath doesn't give you the choice. Like he, he لم, لم يشاء الله أطعمه. Okay, not bad. Now you want to resume. So Umar may say, أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه. This is wrong, 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 wrong. The meaning is messed up. It means like you're the one who's saying, shut. <coughs> so you're reiterating what the kuffar say. The ayah says, when those people are asked to give in a charity and to support the needy, they say, what? 
shall we feed those whom Allah made hungry? If Allah wanted to feed them, he could have fed them. So this is the statement, right? So when you stop and you say, you begin by saying, this is the statement of the kuffar shouldn't be uttered on your tongue okay and now fahm makes the whole difference in the world okay <coughs> so it's okay in this case if you don't have a breath to say in antum illa fi dalali mubin only a slide but to say anutaimu that's not right assalamu alaikum sister fadila from Algeria. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected sister, go ahead and recite from Wa ayatul lahumul laylu naslahu minhu nahar. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa ayatul lahumul laylu naslahu minhu nahar fa idha hum mudlimun. Wa shamsu tajri li mustaqarri laha. Thalika taqdeeru al-aziz al-alim. Wa al-qamaru qaddarnahu manabila hat. Wa al-qamaru qaddarnahu manabila. Wa al-qamar. There is a zabar, a fatha. Wa al-qamar qaddarnahu. Because it's maf'oolun bih. والقمر قدرناه والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم للشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أن حملنا ذرياتهم أن حملنا ذرياتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون حسبك وإن بارك الله فيك سيستا فضيلة just a minute ago I was about to ask you since you're calling from Algeria why don't we recite with ورشة النافع then all of a sudden you came to say وآية لهم أن حملنا ذرياتهم في الفلك المشحون صح؟ ذرياتهم so this is according to ورش my dear viewers Algerians, Tunisians, Moroccans, Libyans they recite according to the dialect of ورش النفع it's perfectly amazing recitation and it is absolutely correct and متواتر all the way to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم so he recited this as well Thank you, Sister Fadila from Algeria. Last but not the least, I know we ran out of time. Why don't you wrap it up, Akhi uh, Hassan? You didn't recite, did you? No, not after the lasagna. Wa ayatul lahum anna hamanna dhuriyatahum fi al-fulk al-mashhoon. A'udhu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن نشأ نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا هم ينقذون إلا رحمة منا ومتاعا إلى حين وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمُ اتَّقُوا مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَمَا خَلْفَكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ وَمَا تَأْتِيهِمْ مِنْ آيَةٍ مِنْ آيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ إِلَّا كَانُوا عَنْهَا مُعْرِضِينَ وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ أَنْفِقُوا مِنْ ما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين. بارك الله فيك جزاك الله خيرا. Actually we ran out of time a while ago. But we wanted to also hear Hassan. Thank you so much, Brother Hassan. And all of you, my dear respected viewers, may Allah bless you all. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد 
وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم until next week السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters to increase your iman Read the miracle, recite the Quran Recite it every day and do read it loud The verses of Quran are all Muslim pride This miracle was revealed over a long time span Sent from Allah to an angel then to a man That man was Muhammad, the best of creation And we were chosen to be part of his nation